Hey folks, Stretch here from the 72nd Virtual Fighter Wing here to show you some of the new IAM features in BMS 4.33. IAM stands for Initially Aided Munitions. These are the GBU 38s, GBU 54 small diameter bombs. Uh, basically anything with the GPS INS inside of it is an IAM. These bombs all have a completely new way of being dropped in BMS, uh, much more realistic. Um, so what we've got here are AGM-154 JSOWs, Joint Standoff Weapons. Uh, these are glide bombs capable of maneuvering to hit a target from a very long distance. On the right-hand side here, you see we've got a whole new SMS page for the AGM-154s. you got to make sure you turn them on before you use them. And the uh, profile options let you set the attack azimuth. Uh, zero means any azimuth. Uh, let's say we want the bomb to come in from the... Uh, come in from the east heading west we could put in 270 for example here uh, and then the bomb will fly in uh, heading west. Uh, EGEA is uh, the final engagement altitude that's 700 feet and ROB is range on bearing that's four miles so it's going to be at or above 700 feet four miles away heading 270 degrees um, and that allows us to configure basically how the bomb gets to the target. Now we're up here at 29,000 feet. That's typical altitude at which you drop these kinds of GPS guided bombs. Uh, you know, you could do the whole thing on altitude hold if you want. Um, you can drop them against a precision steer point if you're sure of your target's location. Uh, in this case, let me just uh, find something on the FCR to hit here. Uh, so we'll go to Doppler beam sharpening. You see we've got an airfield. Um, we'll lock it up. And then go over to the TGP, put it in air to ground mode, and then find a specific building that we want to hit with our JSOWs. Let's look for the control tower if we can find it. It's a water tower. I'm not seeing the control tower. Um, well, let's just hit the water tower. Why not? So, okay. And we've got our target selected. Uh, we don't need point mode to engage the target. Uh, it's not necessary. Let's just kind of put it on the base here. There we go. Um, and then the next thing we need to do is just make sure uh, on the HUD here we have our launch envelope. You see somewhat hilariously jizz, which means JSON in or JSAO in zone, which means we're ready to drop. Uh, one more option here on the right side. This is uh, if we have more than one JSON, we can drop them singles side by side or back to back. With uh, we can set the spacing here. We'll just drop a single JSAO. Uh, remember, this is a glide bomb, so it glides to its target. You know, we're still 15, 20 miles away. We can drop this thing, so it's a great standoff weapon. So all we have to do now is turn towards our target, and then once we're facing our target, we can pickle and bombs away. We'll drop one more just to balance out the aircraft. Remember, you got to hold down the pickle button for two seconds or else you're going to hang the bomb. You're going to get a hung bomb. Uh, so we can just turn on autopilot hold now and watch the bomb go. And you can see the bomb is steering itself. It's gliding towards the target. and it's steering itself for the appropriate uh, attack azimuth. Oh, cool, you can see the other bomb going, uh, dropping there. So uh, here we've begun the terminal phase. The bomb pitches over and it starts its attack run east to west. First bomb should hit any moment now. There's the first bomb, and there's our bomb. Precision hit. And that's JSOWs, everybody. It's a great standoff weapon. Drop them up nice and high, and then uh, just kind of autopilot your way out of the area without ever seeing uh, so much as a single flak shell. Uh, JDAMs work more or less the same way, but they don't have that standoff glide capability. Um, 
Again, with JDAMs and JSAOs, you can launch them against steer points or TGP locks or SCR locks, whatever you'd like, whatever the SPI is, the SPI uh, is what the JSAO will hit, um, or the JDAM or any IAM. You can also uh, launch them against precision steer points. It's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is select a steer point, pickle, then cycle to the next steer point, pickle. Um, as long as you have your cursor zero and you don't have anything locked up in the TGP, uh, they'll head right for the precision steer points. Um, so it makes dropping against multiple targets simultaneously really straightforward. Um, the only thing I must remind you again uh, is be sure to hold down the pickle button for a full two seconds until the bomb comes off the rack. If you don't do this, you'll get a hung bomb. That bomb is now dead weight. The only thing you can do is jettison it. Uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Stretch signing off.